farted, then it's really bad. So you know what happened this week? Well, a big announcement. Xbox One was announced. A lot of people are already going, epic fail. Epic, epic fail. Epic fail. Oh my god, they, they just showed the television, they didn't show any games, where are the games? I can't believe how ignorant people are right now. You gotta see these conferences as a part one and a part two. Where E3 is part two and we, what we just saw was part one. Of course there's games coming, they said it. The reason why people are hating so much about uh, Xbox yep. is because Xbox didn't show the games. They said there's 15 exclusives coming, eight are new IPs, and but th the difference is Sony showed the games, right? Yep. But the thing people are not thinking about is that E3, what is Sony going to show? They're not, like they'll, they'll show the games again or mention them, but they'll have to do all that boring stuff that Microsoft already did. So when yep. people watch the E3 press conferences back to back, because Microsoft's going to be first this year, they're going to be like, wow, Microsoft really surprised me if they do the right thing and show the cool content. You really hope that happens, and you hope they're not dumb enough to be as dumb as they were, as, right. as it looks like they were. Right. Which conference, in your opinion, showcased what it should at a first conference? Well, I think, I think Sony did an excellent job, but I think they're going to pay for it in part two at E3. Yes. And I think a lot of people are, are saying, like, Xbox One's a huge fail, I'm not buying this. I think people are forgetting that, for once, Microsoft has the advantage here. Sony showed the excellent games, and they're awesome, don't get me wrong, they're yeah. completely awesome. But you're crazy if you think that Microsoft doesn't have some tricks up its sleeve and amazing exclusives as well. Okay, but why? And, but why is it better? Why is it like God one? Yeah, up? like what did you watch and two, go? Oh, two things. I think people and they didn't explain this uh, enough. I think people don't realize how much a leap the new Connect is. Yep. It it can read your face and know your heartbeat. Well, I think in Microsoft exclusive games, they're going to use that to their advantage. What happens if there is a, a first-person shooter uh, game that, uh, you know, the enemy detects, like, if you're nervous? Cool stuff like that we haven't seen before in games. Yeah, but wait, what about people who are just, like, monotone, who just play games like this, and are all it's all in your head, you're not like, oh, I'm scared, a zombie. Even when you're, like, a, no you know, a calm person, when you're playing an exciting part of a game, you don't know it, it's subtle, but your heart rate does increase. Mm -hmm. And another thing that people keep on forgetting about Microsoft is Xbox Live. So this is something I'm going to agree with you on. In terms of the whole conference and showing off what's happening and whatnot, let me just say this, when something is working perfectly and it's amazing already, you don't need to fix it. When they announced that Xbox Live will be coming back, obviously on the new uh, system, the fact is that Sony just doesn't have something there yet in place. They, they haven't answered to Xbox Live yet. PSN's great because it's free, but it's not as good as Xbox Live. And if you're going to beat your competitor, you have to be just as good or better. And it's not. What do you think about the television show? Like tell Spielberg showing up. Did that do anything for me? That you? didn't do anything for me, but I see what they're trying to do. They're trying to make everything in one box, right? That's the whole point of it. And PlayStation's doing it too. Don't, see, pretend, that, don't pretend like it's not happening yeah, there. Yeah, that is what the PS3 was. Right. The tagline for PS3, it only does everything. Right, and exactly. It's, so, this but, is really, let's be honest here, this is a war for the living room, not the gaming center anymore. Right. But, and the disadvantage Microsoft had last gen is no Blu-ray player. Now it's got a Blu-ray player, and you can have all-in-one with Microsoft. <laughs> if you popped a Blu-ray player into the Xbox 360, would would that have been the system you used more? Because exactly. I, exactly. So here you go. I, I game the most out of last gen on the Xbox 360. Everything yeah. else, the PS3 for Netflix, Blu-rays. There's one epic fail at that conference. What? The suit? No, he said, he kept saying like, Xbox on, or Xbox movies and stuff. And what no one realized at the conference was the people actually with Kinect watching it at home had their systems turned off because he was like, Xbox off. <laughs> and they shut off. That's pretty funny. They thought it was a human voice. Right, right. What an epic fucking dumb fail that was. Right. But, but the new one recognizes your Exactly. Voice. But getting back to this for a second. But what about this online fee thing? Like, we're going to talk about it, but don't, don't you think that's a little like... It's a little shit. weird and, you know... These we're gonna these details are gonna come out at E3, but I think people are not thinking about the advantage advantages too. They're always thinking about the negatives, like why, why, why. But 
what I can do this now and I could trade games online. There's advantages to your games, you know, constantly updating. No longer will you have to wait for an update when you want to play. No, it's I love always that. doing it in the background. So I guess in my personal opinion here, I, I like Sony's conference just a hair more. It's because of the fact they showed games. They went, here's the games, the system is amazing, look at the graphics, but here's some games. Yeah, here's some games totally. to get excited about. Totally, and I agree with you, but... Like, Knack, it, it looks like an amazing platform. And then there was that game that looks like Mist, right. remade, and I can't wait to play that game. And then right. they were like, oh, guess what? At E3, we're going to show more. But they only announced the used fee for one reason, and one reason only. That was because they wanted to see the feedback. Your theory, what was it? I think they actually were going to have the Xbox One always online, and once it got leaked and they got so much negative feedback, they changed that. So now it's like every what, like once every 25 hours or whatever. Yeah. Uh, so and we still don't know those details, but I see these conferences not as one and two. I just see I feel like we're in intermission right now, and we're about to get the rest of the conference. So, but the first parts, I'm gonna say Sony. They showed the games. Xbox showed Forza 5 and the new Call of Duty engine, which is very exciting. They have six months exclusive rights on the DLC yet again. Yep. Uh, I was waiting for him to lift up his sleeve and have the GTA 5 logo. But I saw a message from Victor Lucas, who was actually at the event. Victor Lucas is like uh, the Adam Sessler of Canada. He said that as he was leaving the event, one of the reps came up to him and whispered in his ear and said, this is nothing. We're gonna blow the pants off of everybody at E3. So overall, you're going with Sony. Sony. But I'm going I, with Sony. Again, let me reiterate, it's not the over. It's but just the intermission. Isn't there in. something still in the back of your head going, Xbox, there's something yeah, there's there. there's something there because hardware-wise, it's got it there. Now they just gotta crush them with software. This is their okay, chance. Okay, one last thing. What? It's the size of seven VCRs. How do you feel about that? I, I'm not I'm not crazy about that. It's huge, but let's not forget, this is not a portable system. It's going to sit in one place in your living room and stay there. Exactly. So on that note, let's go towards E3 with our prediction video. So we'll see you guys next week or whenever it comes out. When's it coming out? When do you think it'll come out? It'll be easy. Okay, soon. well, I don't know. It's like we're going out. into the future here. So anyways, uh, yeah, comment below because we are still, you know, there's something that might push me over the edge back to Xbox. I just don't know yet. Yeah. I need to see more. It's a total mistake of just counting Xbox One out of the equation. Yeah, those people that are in line like, total Xbox mistake. is done, oh my god, I'm not buying one. Like, total what are you, mistake. drunk? And in the Kinect, I like what it's doing now. It's, and like you said, it's so freaking advanced. It's a, it's a leap. It's a leap from the last So anyways, one. what do you guys think? I, I, I'd like you to comment. Thank below. you. Thank you.